Hi, welcome back. So today I am going to be doing this little project called If I Lost All of My Makeup, whether it be like someone stole it, like the makeup bandit came and stole all my makeup and or like, I don't know, something happened, I lost all of it. What would I repurchase? And so I curated a bunch of products that I use all the time and I feel the most lovely in and I find are incredibly high performing for my own personal makeup tastes. Um, but yeah, and this is also like my most complimented look. Like every single time I wear this look, I at least have one person. Like if I go out in public or like I go to work or something like that, I have a person like come up to me and be like, wow, you, your makeup looks absolutely stunning today. And it's like, these are the products that I use every time I get complimented. So uh, yeah, I got some really lovely products to share with you all. And they are, I mean, they're not new, like they're products that I talk about all the time. But yeah, these are the ones that I would immediately repurchase. And let's get into it. Okay, so starting with complexion, um, I don't really have a foundation or a tinted moisturizer that I would immediately repurchase because I have started to get into the habit of just using a glowy primer along with a medium to high coverage concealer. Um, the NARS Tinted Moisturizer is still my favorite tinted moisturizer, but you know, it is like, I think like $43 or something now. And I think that um, for what it is, that that's kind of overpriced. And also like I get the same, if not more beautiful effect by using these two products here. So the first product is obviously the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and this is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. And I use the shade Light 2.6 Cafe Con Leche um, in the winter time. In the summertime, I usually do like ginger or custard. I'm like kind of in that shade range, but yeah, I would immediately rebuy this and I would immediately rebuy this. And also, has anybody else noticed? Like, and, I, and it could also be like a supply chain issue, but like, this has been like the majority of the shades on the NARS website and on Sephora. The, this concealer has been out of stock for like a really long time in like the majority of the shades because I usually do my like annual restock of this concealer around like Black Friday sales and stuff and it was just gone. So like, is it being discontinued? Does anybody know? While I do love the Auric Glow Lust like so much, I do find that um, the Hollywood Flawless Filter just, it has like this special place in my heart and I think it's just because it's like the OG of any product in this like style, like tinted highlighter, like primer thing. And I don't know, it's just, I think a lot of it, oh God, I think a lot of it has to do with it coming in a mini size. So like you could easily re-up on this and this size lasts you a really incredibly long time. Just taking like a, it's, this is kind of damp. I used it just the other day. Um, I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge before going in with my concealer. One of the reasons I love this concealer so much is that it's so multifaceted. Like you can use it all over the face with a sponge and get like really nice light even coverage or you can use it like for spot concealing with a brush. Um, some people find it a little too dry under the eyes um, but I find if I use it under the eyes with a sponge it doesn't pull that dry. But even though it's matte, which I don't really like tend to go for matte finishes all that much, I do make an exception with formulas like this because they seem to kind of adapt to whatever type of layer or like base layer you have on underneath it. And so by applying the glowy primer, like the Hollywood Flawless Filter on underneath it, it just kind of adopts that glow and since it's matte it provides longevity and a little bit of oil control as well. Hands down favorite concealer and if it's discontinued I'm going to scream. I'm gonna scream. You see that's like a nice natural like glowy layer that's gonna last me all day. Um, next product is also by NARS and this is the Cream Laguna Bronzer in the shade Laguna One. I think this is 
I think hands down the best cream bronzer I've ever used. Um, I was a pretty ride or die for the Say when it first came out and this I think came out before the Say but I tried it a little bit later in the year. Um, I was a little late to the whole Cream Laguna game but it just look how effortless like it's such a beautiful such a beautiful bronzer um it, it like takes little to no time to blend out and this blends out beautifully with both a brush and a sponge i personally prefer a sponge because i feel like it makes it more look it makes it look more uh like diffused and effortless and kind of pushes the product into the skin a little bit more but it looks equally as beautiful with a brush one thing is that i don't like about this product however is the like smell i do prefer my products to just not be scented um and not that i have any sort of like sensitivity to scent or fragrances in my products but it's just i would just rather not have them with because of the fear of like not liking the smell you know because i am kind of like prone to migraines if someone's wearing like too pungent of a perfume or if i wear a perfume that just like doesn't match my body chemistry. That's why I always wear like musk perfumes, like Glossier U, which I don't own, but every time I smell it, I'm like, yeah, that's that's the one for me. But I wear like Juliet Has a Gun and Erin's Amber Musk. Um, kind of smells like that, where they kind of adapt to your body chemistry a little bit more. Um, but anyways, uh, this ain't a perfume video. Um, this is very like tropical, like it's very like summertime, which I mean like goes with the theme of like a cream bronzer, you know what I mean? But um, it does dissipate and I don't smell it throughout the day. So like, you know, probably just walk out the door just like this and like it be like good to go. Like just very nice, natural, like semi sculpted kind of look. This product is from Victoria Beckham Beauty and this is the Cheeky Posh blush in the shade Playground. This is a beautiful like brownie sun-kissed nude kind of leaning terracotta in a way. Um and this has like this is kind of like mm, not everyone likes it like some people think it like pulls a little patchy on them so i don't know but for me i think it's absolutely wonderful and it's super compatible with my skin type it stays put all day it lasts a really really long time um the only complaint is that like you can't just like swipe it on your face because it does have a lot of tug it doesn't have like the same amount of emollients as like say like the rose ink blushes or like a nude sticks blush but i've been trying to like kind of wean myself off of like my nude stick products because you know they're just they're just not the best you know ethic ethics wise when it comes to like you know their views <laughs> i have found that this is a like a pretty good dupe for um the nude sticks matte blush like bronzing blush thing in um sun kissed so this is a very like summery like beautifully drapes like when you drape with this it's very like chiseling and sun-kissed-esque it's just so nice and you can really layer this to be as sheer or opaque as you want it to be and i just think it's a an absolute stellar product and the packaging is luxe as hell like as all victoria beckham beauty things are like <laughs> take a sponge and kind of diffuse them together a little bit Okay, so I told myself like one cream product and one powder product. So for um, the bronzing, the powder product is another Victoria Beckham Beauty product. And this is the bronzing brick in the shade two. I think this is one of the best bronzers I've ever used. It's so luxurious and so weighted. It's absolutely stunning. And if I lost my whole makeup collection, like this would be the first powder bronzer that I would go out and buy or at least order, <laughs> you know? Um, and so I just think that this layers over top of like a dewy or a matte base like so lovely. It's so so lovely. It just diffuses out and gives you this like beautiful color and it's it's not the most pigmented bronzer that I own but I tend to like that because I like to like adjust my bronze for like the time of the year you know. Um, and you can really build this. It takes a little bit more time, just like the blush, but like 
I think that your makeup looks better when you take a little bit more time with it and that it's more easily built. It also like doesn't get rid of the glow that I have. Um, and it's just absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Hair is really dirty. Like I need to wash it today when I get home from work and it's just, it's just doing its own thing. Like as soon as I put dry shampoo in it, it's like, oh, we're sentient. Powder product is a blush and it is the Laura Mercier blush in the shade Fresco. Oh my God. And it goes along the lines of like that brownie beige, glowy, just super simple. I think this is, you know, just so effortless and so beautiful. It does have like shimmer in the pan, but at least on me when it's on my face, it just makes me look glowy. It doesn't pick up any type of glitter. And I chose this over my beloved, um, hourglass blush only because the hourglass blush in brilliant nude um while it's a really beautiful product it does pick up some of the glitters that are in it and i find that this is a little bit less like shimmery and more glowy and that's kind of the look that i want to go for and this also has a little bit more like pink in it than brilliant nude does so um, it does provide more of a blushed look than a bronzed look, but I feel like I would eventually just repurchase <laughs> Brilliant Nude by Hourglass if I lost my whole makeup collection, but this one would be first for sure. Okay, so highlight was kind of hard because I feel like if I actually did lose my makeup collection, I would probably just use my Hollywood Flawless Filter as my highlight. Um, because all of these products, they're not cheap. Like they are on the like more high end to luxury side of the makeup spectrum. So like, I feel like I wouldn't immediately go out and repurchase this product, but I think that it would be the first actual like highlight that I would repurchase. And it's the Westman Atelier Lit Up Stick in the shade Nectar. And oh my God, it is just so lovely. And it sits over top of like cream and powder in the most effortless way. It's just absolutely stunning it's absolutely stunning it makes you look so glassy and every single time I wear this like without a doubt like every single time that I wear this somebody pulls me aside like whether I'm at work or like out somewhere or something like that and they pull me aside and they go I don't mean to be weird because I we don't know each other but like what are you wearing because you're face looks absolutely stunning and glowing like you look so good and I just always tell them I'm like I'm wearing this really expensive highlighter and it's every single time every single time like look at that oh like hives like around like my mouth I don't know what's going on like redness it's so weird okay now that my skin is finished Let's move on to the eyes. So um, I don't think this is gonna be a surprise to anybody, but I chose two products, one cream, one powder, and they're both like wet looking, shimmery, <laughs> like yummy beige, sparkly things. Um, so the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize formula in the shade Exaggerize, and the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow in the shade Space Cowboy. Now I always used these separately, um, but I had somebody mention in a comment on one of my videos in the past saying that this is kind of the more extreme version of this and when you combine them, it's absolute magic. And so I've been doing that like basically since I read that and every single time I do it, people are like, your eyes are absolutely stunning. And so I'm just gonna do it. On, and these are, these are what I would immediately repurchase. Like no eyeshadow palettes, like, nothing it would be this and this like hands down i'm just going in with the charlotte tilbury and when i read that comment i totally agreed i was like that's why i love them both so much they both have like this beigey base and then kind of silvery glitters dispersed throughout them and it just makes and like the opposing color stories like color theory wise like you want something warm with like kind of a cool reflect in it to make it look wet at least I think that's how that works um they both have that kind of motif about them with like a warmer base with like a cooler glitter story in it and it's just absolutely stunning it's absolutely stunning 
And I'm so glad that they said that to me because I used to always like use the Oyster Pearl eyes to mesmerize and then put Space Cowboy on top of it. And like that's super pretty as well. But there's just something a little extra special about Exaggerize with Space Cowboy on top of it. And I just love the texture of the shadow. It's just so dreamy and so like pillowy and soft. Not, not everybody's cup of tea and I totally like can respect that because we all have different eyes, you know? But this is like, oh man. And that's just Exaggerize on the eyes here. Going in with Space Cowboy, I like to take it and kind of concentrate it more towards the inner corner and then just like tap out the rest. And something that's really cool about using Space Cowboy on top of like a cream shadow like this is that since it is a powder, it's gonna set this. So if you have an issue with creasing with this formula, like the um, Exaggerize, like Eyes to Mesmerize formula by Charlotte Tilbury, like this may help. Like if you just put like a glitter topper on top of it, like it'll help set. There you go, there's the eyes. Woohoo! And finish off the eyes. I don't think this is gonna be any surprise to anyone, but the mascara I would immediately repurchase would be the Victoria Beckham Beauty Future Lash. I think this is the best tubing mascara I have ever used. And I don't mean like, you know, the, I feel like tubing mascara has been kind of thrown around lately, but this is an actual tubing formula where when you wash, when you hit, when it gets into contact with water, it comes off in tubes instead of just coming off easily. Um, people have been calling the Tower 28 mascara a tubing mascara, but I disagree that it's a tubing mascara only because it just kind of melts off easily and doesn't really like come off in the tubes. Like the two, like, I have read in comments on other people's videos where people are like, I don't like tubing mascara because the tubes freak me out. But for me, it's like, it's like a weird thing where I'm like, yeah, it's like super satisfying. <laughs> but yeah, I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. Since Victoria Beckham Beauty, like, oh, I just want to like point something out. Victoria Beckham Beauty is considered a clean brand, um, at least to Europe's standards. Um, uh, that doesn't really like matter to me, but like it does kind of matter in the grand scheme of things of like how long your mascara's lifespan is. And I have to say like you shouldn't be using your mascara more than like three or four months anyways because you do run the risk of like possible like styes or like eye infections or just like your eye just getting like really irritated in general. But I have to say that for a clean formula, this lasts a very long time, like a very long time. Like it ages so gracefully, like so, so gracefully. And you can make this like natural looking or you can really, really build it up. Okay, lips were a little bit hard because I just have so many favorites and so many like things that I just love, you know? Um, but I had to like really be real with myself and be like, what do I want in a lip product anymore? And that is like a sheer tinted, like balmy formula. And um, with lip liners, it wasn't so hard because I don't really subscribe to like high end or luxury formulas for lip liners. Like I just think that you can just get a really good lip liner at the drugstore. And what I would repurchase would be any color in the NYX like pencil lip liners. And I'm gonna go in with nude beige today. And honestly, like most days, I just do this and then put like either the Tower 28 gloss on it or I do like the Glossier Bomb.com or like just a chapstick, just very, very simple. Um, that's kind of like my go-to lip. I like a balmy tinted sheer formula. So if I had to pick one, it would be the Gucci sheer lipstick. Oh my god, I have this in the shade Catron Sand. It's this beautiful like rosy brown and it just goes on so like evenly and sheer 
it has like this amazing like luxurious smell um and it just goes on so evenly and it lasts a really long time it's just such an amazing formula and so if i was thinking about like an actual lipstick it would be this i would probably eventually start rebuying my nars afterglow like tinted lip balms um but probably only in laguna uh because that one is my favorite and it's also like a it's just like a nice like neutral brown um but sheer enough that like sh but sheer and neutral enough that it doesn't like take any attention from anything going on in your face you can basically wear it with a cool or a warm look um but this one is just absolutely stunning i would repurchase this in a heartbeat um i would buy more in this formula but like the rest of the shades are kind of like you know not really for me but this one is like right up my alley and it kind of got me into rose tones a lot Okay, that's it. Um, that is a full face of like everything that I would repurchase if I lost my entire makeup collection. I think that this look is like pretty much an everyday for me, like give or take like doing the like cream and the powder blush slash bronzer sort of thing. It's kind of like I switch them out a lot of times. Um, but this eye look has been like my go-to for the past like probably month. Um, but yeah, I think that this is such a lovely look. I love all these products so much. It's my most complimented makeup look as well. That's it. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I love you. I love you. Okay, bye.